One of the planets in the system, Proxima b, which is only four light years away from our own solar system, has been sending out some rather peculiar signals, which astronomers have been picking up. The brightest minds in the realm of space are scratching their heads in order to figure out what these strange anomalies, which have been given the term artificial lights, are, and whether or not they are a sign of intelligent life somewhere on the planet. It is not completely out of the question. At the end of the year 2020, a signal was found to be emanating from the star that is our closest neighbor, Proxima Centauri, also known as BLC-1. Even if the signal is still being investigated to ensure that it is not only an echo of our own civilization, we ought to investigate the planets in the neighborhood of Centaurus to see whether or not there is evidence of civilization on those worlds. However, the telescopic telescopes that we have available at the moment are not able to detect the light that is emitted into space by the glow of the night side of our planet. If our technology is advanced enough or glowy enough, there is a possibility that we will be able to detect artificial lights on the planet Proxima Centauri b, which is in the habitable zone and orbits the nearest star. The ability of alien civilizations to view the lights on Proxima Centauri b was investigated in a recent study that looked at the detectability of technology signatures at Alpha Centauri. The current analysis also points to Lavoie, also known as the Huge UV Optical IR Surveyor, which is a multi-wavelength space-based observatory that might be launched as early as 2035. A budding civilization on another globe could be recognized by the artifacts it has left behind on the worlds it has chosen to investigate. There are a number of methods that can be used to determine whether or not advanced technology is present on another globe. For instance, we could be able to see the light of a distant world wiggle with the help of a vast constellation of satellites that you know. The light that comes from the stars is unlike any other kind of light. Last year, researchers Eliza Tabor and Avi Loeb took the web for a virtual alien light hunting test drive. However, the results were a little janky due to the fact that the virtual JWST isn't yet fully functional. It takes it only 11.2 days to complete one circuit around Proxima Centauri, which is only around 5% of the distance that our planet orbits our sun. It weighs 1.6 Earth masses and has a radius that is 1.3 times that of our own. Because a fraction of the solar illumination reflecting from our planet's day side is a fraction of the artificial illumination, 0% suggests that the planet's night side is completely dark, while 100% suggests that the planet's night side is as bright as the day side, which is not the case. Tabor and Loeb determined that a fraction of the solar illumination reflecting from our planet's day side is a fraction of the artificial illumination. If the artificial night side illumination of Proxima b hits 5%, Webb will have an 85% chance of detecting the artificial light. If it reaches 9%, Webb would have a 95% chance of detecting the artificial light. An increase in brightness of only 5% doesn't seem like much, does it? Even though our sun is approximately 20 times brighter than Proxima Centauri, it is still a significant amount of light in comparison to other stars in the galaxy, even if it is only a fraction of the brightness of those other stars. If another civilization were as advanced as ours, it would be difficult to find it on the web unless its lights were at least a factor of 500 times more intense than ours. This is not an impossible scenario at all. As was previously said, it is possible that Proxima b is tidally locked because its orbit around its host star is so close that one side of the planet always faces the star while the other side is perpetually in eternal night. It is likely that the civilization that inhabits a tidally locked planet will place a high priority on its lighting infrastructure. This civilization may employ extremely brilliant orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight onto the night side of the planet, which our telescopes would be able to observe. However, this is only a hypothesis at this point. Just a few days after the researchers released their findings, this study shows that future telescopes such as Lavoie 
or the enormous UV optical infrared surveyor could identify a civilization's light even more swiftly than JWST. Thomas Beatty of the Department of Astronomy at the University of Tucson reviewed both Lavoie and HABEX, which stands for the Habitable Exoplanet Observatory, in order to gain a better understanding of how these telescopes are able to detect city lights on Proxima b and other planets orbiting stars up to 30 parsecs away. One proton cloud is approximately 3.26 light years long. In the year 2035, neither the Lavoie nor the Havix spacecraft will have yet launched their missions when they begin cataloging and directly photographing exoplanets. Beatty utilized the virtual observatories of the Lavoie and Havoc observatories on a number of different star systems, some of which had known worlds, such as Proxima b, and prospective worlds similar to Earth that orbited GK and M-class stars. Beatty measured not just the distance from Earth, but also the proportion of the planet's surface that was occupied by cities as well. The night side of a planet will appear brighter when there is more urbanization on the surface of the planet. This model's form of artificial illumination is a simulation of the high-pressure sodium street lights that are the most prevalent type of lighting on Earth's streets. These lights reflect off of concrete surfaces and have an infrared spectrum that is distinct from that of natural starlight. If we had a higher percentage of urbanization, say 100%, then perhaps we would have a clearer picture of a distant civilization. Yet, what exactly does it mean to have urbanization on every square inch of the planet? You are looking at an example of what is known as Ecumenopolis, which is a type of planet in which a single metropolis covers the entirety of the landmass. Science fiction with advanced technology. It's not simply an idea from science fiction. It's plausible that an evolved society could totally surround its world in an endless urban landscape. The question is, how visible would that world be when it was modeled and found, such that future observatories would be able to detect it? Because her research demonstrates that close-ranged red dwarf stars provide the best chance for finding urban worlds, Proxima b is the primary target at the moment. It would be simple for the next generation of telescopes to find an Ecumenopolis version of Proxima b, as her work shows that close-ranged red dwarf stars provide the best chance, even though we were only able to detect 0.5% urbanization on the globe. This is still 10 times more urbanization than there is on Earth right now. Nevertheless, based on the present city growth rates, Earth is within the threshold by only 0.5%.